This is the meal prep that got me shredded. Loaded with proteins and flavors, and it will replace your food delivery apps, because it's so f***ing good. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get the most delicious, time-saving meal prep, this video is for you. So we're gonna begin with our rice, starting off with 5 grams of olive oil, 300 grams of washed basmati rice, and add 600 milliliters of boiled water. Add a bit of salt for the taste. I prefer using Himalayan pink sea salt because it's packed with minerals. I give it a stir to break up any clumps and then break it into a boil. Place on a lid, reduce the heat to low and then let the rice cook for about 15 minutes undisturbed. Now for the proteins. This weighs 2 kilos or about 4.4 pounds. I went with boneless and skinless chicken thigh because I like the taste better. But it's pricier, so you can go with chicken breast as well. I'm going to slice these into strips, rotate into 90 degrees and then dice them into large, even-sized pieces. I'm making sure they are all the same size, that way they'll cook evenly. I add it into a bowl and start with the seasoning. I made the seasoning easy as possible. Add salt, black pepper, garlic powder, 5 grams of sesame oil and mix. I know you'll make fun of me mixing with my hands in the comments, but I don't give a fuck. It mixes the best this way. Going back to the rice. After 15 minutes, when you can see there are no visible bubbles, turn off the heat and let it sit for another 5 minutes undisturbed. Then I'm finally going to remove the lid and fluff this up with a fork or a spatula. Just to break up all the individual grains, making sure nothing's stuck together. And then remove it from the stove. For the vegetable stir fry, I'm going to be using two bell peppers, two white or purple onions, frozen broccoli, frozen peas and frozen beans. I cut the top and bottom, and then with a knife, I slice the skin of the bell pepper. Leaving me with zero waste. Now I give them a quick slice into large chunks. Leaving me with all of this beautiful diced bell pepper. Next is two medium white or purple onions. I like to use purple onion because it gives more color to the meal. I cut the ends of the onion and then cut it into half. I peel off the top layer of the onion and continue. I slice the onion into thin strips and break off the layers of the onion like so. I repeat and do the same for the other onion. After I finish cutting all the vegetables, now it's time to cook them. So, on a high heat pan, I add 5 grams of olive oil. I spread the olive oil all over the pan like so. I add first the onions and then the bell peppers. And give it a good mix until they're getting caramelized. Then add the frozen broccoli, peas and beans. I add the frozen vegetables after because the onions and bell peppers wouldn't get as caramelized if I added them all together. Mix it again for about 2-3 to three minutes. Add black pepper and 20 milliliters of soy sauce. Mix it again for 2 minutes, cover with a lid and remove it from the heat. The chicken is also simple to cook. Preheat a large pan on high heat and spray with olive oil. Now, this is crucial. You see how hot the pan is from the smoke? This is the right time to add the chicken. I make sure to give space to each cube so it will cook evenly and can get that brown yummy crust that we are looking for. Let the chicken sit on the heat for 2 minutes. Only when the chicken sides are turning white like this, you can mix it. I make sure the raw side of the chicken is on the hot pan. It's gonna make sure all the side of the chicken are getting cooked. Since I make it in 10 small batches, I put 10 milliliters of soy sauce each time. That gives us a total of 100 milliliters of soy sauce for all the chicken. Mix it for another 1 to 2 minutes and then add it to the big bowl. I repeat this process until I finish cooking all the chicken. Let's break it down into steps. Add the chicken thighs. Wait until it's white on the sides. Mix. Add soy sauce. Mix again and add to the big container. And that's it, you can finish now, but I have a secret weapon. Add all the cooked chicken into a medium heat pan and add 50 grams of teriyaki sauce. Mix it until all the chicken cubes are covered with that delicious teriyaki sauce. 
Now, this is optional. I like to add sesame seeds and green onions since I believe that you eat with your eyes before you eat with your mouth. And the presentation is almost equally as important because I'm eating it every single day for the rest of the week. You can't say that this doesn't make you hungry. But we're not over yet, so don't skip the video. You can finish the prep and put it into a big container and scale the food when you decide to eat. But since I know how important the availability of the food is, I prefer to have ready-to-eat meals. And also I love to see how aesthetically pleasing all the organized ready-to-eat containers are in the fridge. So for the meal prep, into one container, add 150 grams of the rice we just cooked, 100 grams of the vegetable stir-fry, and 200 grams of the mouth-watering teriyaki chicken thighs. Again, it's optional, but I like to make things look good, so I add sesame seeds and green onion. You should get 8 meals like this one. The macros are insane, with only 530 calories per container, we get 60 grams of protein. 45 grams of carbs and only 12 grams of fat. You can store them in the fridge for up to 5 days and freeze them for up to 30 days. And now I can finally eat and taste the meal prep that transformed my body and got me shredded as fuck over the past years. It's really good. And don't trust me, go and try it for yourself and let me know how it is. This is what I ate when I was in my peak shape. And this is what I'm going to eat now to rebuild my physique.